Um, and I realized that my daily activity in here, nobody came to me. They didn't need my help unless it was a catastrophic wow. event. And, and that was where the freedom showed up. That was where it really clicked for me to say, I've already been managing this way. So my detachment, um, and I, for a while in the beginning, I would come back about every two and a half or three weeks, I'd show back up. And uh, eventually that kind of phased out. I show up maybe every other month, sometimes three months. Um, and and what has happened in, in transition is it's not my face is there, but just I would call it as a culture, as a, a way of engaging and, and being. Um, but I, I'm not needed. And in fact, when I show up on site now, I, I kind of chuckle because there really isn't. I, I have an office that's never used and I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. You know, so so I, I think I think back and, and the questions become, what did I do that was was so effective with it? And yeah, it, it came down to empowering people. It came down to allowing people to do their jobs and ultimately be responsible for it. Yeah. A good friend of ours, I know you know Richard Flint. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scenario right here. He always says, You 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 always want to run your business with your when when you're not there, your presence is still there. Okay. And so thanks for sharing that short story there. There's a lot more to it. And on other videos down the road, I'm sure we'll get a lot more information. So Brian, thanks for that quick scenario there of how you went from where you are to where you where you are today.